What's up YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this short video, I'll be giving you guys some of the command keys and tricks and tips that I like to use when I'm working inside OS X Mavericks. And hopefully you guys enjoy them yourself. So let's begin. The first tip I want to show you guys is for Finder. When you type Finder, if you're inside your Applications folder, you can add some of these applications to your menu bar here at the top inside of Finder. By doing so, if you hold down the application and if you just drag it to the top and release it, it's not going to work. But if you hold down your command key and try that again, once you get the little green plus button there like so, just release it. And you will have your applications inside your finder window at the top in your menu bar. So that's cool. And that comes in handy when you want to add certain applications to the finder window at the top. That's pretty sweet. Another trick I wanted to show you guys was if you look inside finder here over to the left inside your sidebar these items that you have you can open these up in a new tab just by holding down the command key and just clicking like so and you can do this for each of your favorite items over in the left hand side and if you look here closely i have just opened up a whole bunch of my favorite items in new tabs now for the third tip i wanted to show you guys let me open up in the window here like so. This is pretty sweet. I know a lot of you guys are going to like this. Now, let's just say if you got two windows open. And I know it's a lot of times when you're editing or something like that. And you have all these windows open on your desktop. And you want to move them around. But you don't want to bring them up front. You know, you just want to move it around. So, let's just say if you had a window in the background. And you wanted to move that window to the side. If you hold down your command key. And if you select the window in the back. You'll notice that you can drag it around with the front window still in place. And it's not budging, so that's pretty sweet. We're gonna close that down. Now for the fourth tip, with your applications that's down in your dock, you'll notice that if you wanted to open this application up, let's just say if you wanted to get some information on Google Chrome and you wanted to see where this application set it on your Mac. Now we all know this application is inside Finder, of course, in the Applications folder. But I don't know, let's just say if you just wanted to just go straight to this application to tweak it or do something to it, you would normally have to open up Finder and go to Applications and all that blah, 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 blah. We don't want to do that. That takes too long. But if you just hold down your Command key and you select Google Chrome, you'll notice that it will open up inside your Applications folder like so. And not only that, it will highlight that application to let you know this is the application that you're looking for. What would you like to do with it? Again, that works with any application that's in your dock. We can do the same thing for Lightroom, like so. Command key and just click. Now for the next tip I wanted to show you guys, you'll notice that if you go up to your spotlight, like so, if you just click on it, and let's just see it's something that we want to search for. And we wanted to just, I don't know, we wanted to see where that file was at. If you hold down your command key and if you just select that file, like so, and just click it, or you can either hit enter. It will then give you the same results that you would get when you select the application from your dock and click with the command key being held down. It will take you right to that application or file and let you know where it resided. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed these cool commands I just showed you for your Mac and hopefully sometime this week or today or maybe now, you can try them yourself inside OS 10 Mavericks. This is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this short video. I'll let you.